here with John and Brandon from Brook and Moore. Yeah. All right. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday? Thanksgiving. He hates Halloween. I hate Halloween, but I love Thanksgiving. I get to see all my family, eat a lot of food. It's the best part. My favorite holiday is Halloween because nobody knows I'm 28 and I can still go trick or treating if I put a mask on and get free candy. That's my favorite holiday. What song do you like most by yourself and why? I would say. I like each stroke the most because I was really upset when I wrote it and after I wrote it I felt better. So. What was your favorite game to play at recess? Uh, kickball. At first I was not that good, but then I reached to the status to where I could be a captain of the, of the kickball team and then I was, I was really good. You're a captain? Yeah. I hit a couple homers once, but that was it. <laughs> I don't know. I'll try to fact check it, see if it was a captain or not. <laughs> I, I actually I played this game called Spider Monkey. We had this really huge like web. It was basically like a metal web that went up like a dome and you climb up it. And basically I guess the goal was whoever got to the top of the first was king of the spider monkeys. So that was the game. That was my favorite game. Cool. I like that. It's not as hip as kickball, I'm sorry. <laughs> I never got paid for kickball. That's true. If you could eat dinner with anybody, dead or alive, who would it be? You go first. Hmm. Dead or alive? Uh, that's a good question. I would have to say uh, Jimi Hendrix. Just because it seems like he would have a lot of good things to say. Even though I really don't listen to him, I listen to a couple of songs like growing up, but I think he would be pretty cool. I have a lot to say and it would be an interesting conversation at dinner. I would probably have to do with... It's a hard one, isn't it? I think I want to have dinner with like Arnold Schwarzenegger or something. Just something that would be really funny. <laughs> It'd be like, please pass the lettuce. <laughs> Come up with your songs? Um, usually when I write a song, I have a problem, either in my life or I'm trying to figure something out, you know, about myself. And I kind of write songs to, I guess, help me, like therapy. I write songs to help myself and I guess figure life out. So I pretty much just write songs kind of just in my bedroom. And then uh, we kind of put them together together. So it's kind of like almost singer-songwriter and then he makes them good. So I just sing all the words and I make the lyrics and stuff and kind of make the melody and I bring it to John and then John puts his magic on it and makes it something that you guys would like. I just sprinkle <laughs> dust on it. Well. How many times a day do you practice? Um, I, uh, we together, we, we practice John's probably. like never, I'm so good, I don't have to practice. No, we, uh, we get together probably like uh, three to four times a week. And then besides that, I don't really like play my drums or anything. I just like have a pad and I just warm my hands up and stuff like that. But John could play any 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 drum beat anywhere, anytime. He is. He's been my best friend since we were really really young, and he was always amazing. I, on the other hand, I try to play every day because I noticed that if I don't sing or play every day, I'm right back to square one. Not sound very good. Which of these best describes what you were like in elementary school? Good student, good imagination, popular, troublemaker, athlete, or bad student? You can pick more than one. Um, uh, I was, uh, at first, like, I got made fun of a lot, a lot, a decent amount. Not as much, uh, not in high school. As, He's not like not in high school, high school, but in elementary school, I got made fun of a lot. Um, but I, I've still maintained to, you know, be a good student and not get in fights or anything. But essentially, I just got picked on a lot when I was in elementary school. I would probably say I was imaginative, but I guess I was I was smart, but I was a bad student because when I thought my teacher said something that wasn't right, I'd say, hey. I think you might not know what you're talking about, which makes you a bad student in school. But you guys should always remember, just because you get taught something in school doesn't mean that there's not more to learn about a certain subject or another. So I was a good student, but I would say I was kind of a troublemaker. Um, not very popular though, but very imaginative. I had a lot of, uh, a lot of silly games that I would play by myself. <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if Ghost is still popular with kids, but 
me and my brothers and sisters used to play Ghost, which is where you basically turn all the lights off in a oh, basement yeah, yeah, yeah. and then yeah. you play hide and go seek, which yeah. is very dangerous. <laughs> my mom's yeah. like, oh no, there's six of you, go, go ahead, just you know, run around the basement with the lights off. That yeah. sounds good, good idea. <laughs> Yeah, we played that. Uh, I'm glad that that game has standed the test of time. It's a good game. How would you describe your music to someone that's never heard you before? Heartfelt and refreshing. I'd say um, it's a great time, something you can dance to. Um, so it's like a party vibe. Uh, it's, it's really hard to like, you know, describe it. Except it's just fun. It's just really fun. It's a really good time. You know? If you could transform into any animal, what would it be? A peregrine falcon. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's like a, it's like probably one of the uh, world's fastest birds, and like it has talons and everything, and you know it can pretty much escape any predator and you know get whatever it wants to eat and fly really high and fast. And I have come to the conclusion a long time ago, ever since I got my dog, that I am more of a dog than a person. So I would like to be a dog so I could talk to my dog Banjo because I pretty much spend all his dog of my is days, awesome. all of my days with my dog. Yeah, his name is Banjo, yeah. Yeah, and he's really cool. He looks like a he just he looks like one of those dogs that just looks like a puppy forever. It's about this big. He's really cool though. But I came to the conclusion that I'm a dog person and that I would probably be a dog if I was an animal. I'm kind of lazy, and you know, I only defend people I care about if I have to. And I kind of just want to eat and sleep. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. Dog -like. Yeah, and I like to howl, so <laughs> I'm a dog. And finally, who's your favorite Spice Girl? You did this before with another interview. <laughs> I saw it. Who's your favorite Spice Girl? You go first. So I got to think about it. Um, what is there? Is there's a baby spice or something? Wait, excuse me, you don't know who the Spice Girls are? I no, I know, I'm just trying to me I'm just trying to remember who they are. Uh, we know all I would have to say Posh. She was the uh, <laughs> she was the prettiest out of all of them, I guess. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with scary spice, but I feel like Melanie doesn't get enough love. <laughs> but I'm gonna go with scary spice. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you girls, appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I really like your show. I watched a couple episodes.